Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today we have one more battle with the Pyro team, so hopefully it goes well. Let me know who you think is going to win, and with that being said, let's jump straight to the battle. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, CG. So they're going to lead off with Fosgene, the Galarian Weezing, as I led off with my Blastoise slash Zoroark. So we definitely don't want to stay in against the Weezing. We can't really touch it. Even Sludge Bomb's not going to do much damage. So what we're going to do is expecting maybe a burn. Um, we're going to go into... I'm, I'm leaning towards... Um, leaning towards Pyro. So I'm going to go with Pyro Switch. I think that's a good one because they have to go for a Strange Theme, Toxic Spikes, uh, or a, uh, um, a Will-O-Wisp. So... Pyro can't be Willow with, so we'll withdraw and go to Mufasa, get that on Nerve, which is great and all. And they go for a Willow with, which isn't going to work on a good old Pyro over here. So now they probably switch out into the Slow King. Um, so I kind of want to. I'm just going to go for a Fire Blast at first, just in case they don't switch out. So that we we do, they don't switch out, which is great. So we go for a Fire Blast. That's going to do a lot of damage to the Weezing. They then go for a Toxic Spikes, which is obviously going to lay some Toxic Spikes down. So. Do they stay in and risk it, or do they go into the sloking now? I'm going to go for another Fire Blast. I'm just going to go for the KO, because I don't want to overpredict, you know? So we go for a Fire Blast. They do stay in, and the Galarian Weezing does go down. So that's their... Well, no, it's not their Defogger out of the way, because they've got Mandibuzz. Um, but that's one Pokemon out of the way, with Galarian Weezing gone. Zoroark can put in some work. We just need to get rid of that Mandibuzz now. Cyrax comes in. What's that going to be? The Salamence. Nice and shiny. Got to love it. So we outspeed, but they could be Scarfed. So I don't want to risk it for a Chalky Biscuit. So I'm going to go for a Tinkton switch. I think Tinkton's a good one. They have got Moxie, not Intimidate. So we know they're going to be a physical attacker. I don't think they'll go for an Epic. I think they go for a Dragon Dance here, which is fine. So we'll go into Tinkton. We get that Mold Breaker, break the Mold. And then they go for a Dragon Dance. So Dragon Dance is fine. We can handle that, no problem. Um, do I have a Flying type on this team? That's the real question. Because what I'm going to do now is if they're going to go for an EQ, we'd have a Flying type. No. Um, if they're going to go for an EQ, we should probably go for an Encore here. Lock them into the EQ. Or do we go for a Stealth Rock? I think we go for a Gigaton Hammer, personally. They go for an EQ. That's going to obviously do a lot of damage to Tinkaton. It shouldn't take us out. It does take us out. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Tinkaton. I thought Tinkaton would take that. It's not Stab or anything. But they're going to get Moxie now, which is really unfortunate. So now what do we do? Now what do we do? Uh, we could go Blastoise, we could Rapid Spin, Body Press maybe, Flip Turn, not really much to do there. But they are plus to attack now, so we have to be really careful with what we what we, what we do. Um, so I could go Booster Energy Verizon to get a Psy Blade off. Verizon doesn't really do much for us. And then we'll be able to go into Zoroark to finish it off. So yeah, let's do that. Let's go Verizon, get the Booster Energy so we can outspeed the Salamence, like so. Pop, um, we get poison, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Uh, we can't really get rid of them just yet. Um, as there we go, booster energy is going to pop. We get a boost in speed, which is great. Speed was heightened. And then we just go straight for a Psyblade. There's no reason not to. If they Terra Steel, then so be it. If they Terra Steel, I'm going to go into Conkelder. So we go for a Psyblade. They don't Terra, which is great. That's going to do just under half. They go for a dual wing beat, though, which is going to definitely take out Verizon, and then they're going to get a Moxie boost once again. So, and that is really unfortunate they have dual wing beat because it means now Zoroark can't do the Zoroark thing. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to have to. This, uh, this Salamence is getting out of control. This Salamence is getting out of control. We need, we need to get rid of it somehow. So, I'm leaning towards the Zoroark. I think I will go Zoroark. Um, just because it's going to be disguised as the Blastoise. And they're probably thinking, hey, they're going to go for an Ice Beam. So they might go for an Outrage instead. So let's see. We get Poisoned. Which means that if they don't go if they don't go for an Outrage here, which they can do. Then we should probably tear a Poison Sludge Bomb, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm th I think we should do that. I think we should tear a Poison Sludge Bomb. Because if we tear a Poison, it should get rid of the Poison anyway, shouldn't it? Uh, it's slightly more powerful than Night Days, so I think that is the best thing for us to do right now. So um, we are going to Terrestrialize. We, we go first, so we know they haven't Terrored, which is great. So they're going to turn into a Poison type, just to get that extra power on the Sludge Bomb. Also so that we can maybe get rid of the Toxic Spikes, which I don't think works like that. But we should be able to get rid of the Poison right now, right? So we go Terror Poison. They go for an Outrage, which is great. We are still Poisoned, unfortunately, so that doesn't work how I thought it worked. We have got the Focus Sash, which is great. It's going to break our Illusion, though, which is also great. I mean, whatever. 
And then we go for a stab sludge bomb, which should take out the Salamence from there. And if it doesn't, I'm hoping for the poison. So Zoroark saves the day against the uh, Salamence. So that is unfortunate that Salamence ripped through our team a bit. But they've got Hisuian Zoroark left, an Infernape, and a Slowking and a Manibus. They've got no setup mons, uh, unless the nasty plot on the Zoroark, but I don't think they will be. So Zoroark does go down to the poison, which is ironic, seeing a poison type go down to poison. <laughs> but it is what it is. Um, now, we should... I'm going to bring Conk in, because Conk doesn't really care about the poison too much, because it's going to get a guts boost from it. And they're going to go into Slow Queen. So Slow Queen comes in. We didn't get poison there, did we? Oh, we do get... Okay, it happens after they switch their Pokemon in. So this thing's probably going to have a future sight on us. So I'm going to go for a knockoff first and foremost, just to get as much damage as possible on this uh, Slow King. Plus, it could be the Zoroark, but it's not. We outspeed. We go for... Oh, wow, a knockoff clean. It was a crit on the Slow King. That is brutal. That is brutal, Conkelder. What are you doing? What are you on? What are you on? <laughs> Bam Bam comes in. That's got to be the, pep the mandibles, right? Yeah, it is the mandibles. Nice and shiny. Got to love it. Um, so now we should go for an ice punch, right? We go for an ice punch. That's going to do some damage. They go for a foul play. It's going to do no damage to us. We go for an ice punch now. And that's going to do a good clean 50%. So that's great. So now I'm leaning towards believing that they're going to go for a roost and not a foul play. So I'm going to go for a drain punch to get the super effective damage on. And um, they do go for the roost, which is great. So we get a free drain punch off, which is going to be amazing. And then we go for the drain punch. Now they're a pure fighting type. There we go. A uh, pure dark type, sorry. And um, we get some health back, pretty much all our health back, which is great. Now they either switch out, expecting us to go for a drain punch again. Or they go into the Zoroark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for a knockoff here, expecting the Zoroark. They actually go for another foul play. They go for another foul play, which is interesting. We go for a knockoff. That nearly takes them out, which is great. Knock off the heavy duty boots. And that foul play did a lot of damage, to be fair. We should have gone for a drain punch again there, I think. I think. But we can just go for a mock punch now, and that should take out the uh, the uh, mandibles. So mandibles goes down. Conkelda is putting in the work again. <laughs> but I think their Salamence is definitely the, the, the thumbnail spot. Like We had a lot of trouble with that Salamence, but Zoroark did save the day. Zoroark did save the day. Luffy the Chosen One comes in. I like that nickname for an Infernape. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. So Infernape comes in. Um, we go for a... I want to go for a Muck Punch. Just get damage off on the Infernape, really. They do Terror, though. What type are they going to Terror into with the Infernape? That is the real question right there. They're going to go Terror Ghost. Terror Ghost on the Infernape? Are you having a laugh? Uh, that's, that's really situationally perfect. So we go for a Mark Punch. It fails, obviously. And then they go for what? A Shadow Ball. That's a Zoroark. That's a Zoroark. I should have known. So Mark Punch wouldn't have KO'd anyway. So they go for that Shadow Ball. It's obviously going to take out Conkelda here, which is unfortunate. Um, but at the same time, it is what it is. So let's go into our Pyro. Pyro can definitely take any hit this thing wants to throw at us. It's immune to Shadow Ball. It can definitely take a Hyper Voice, that's for sure. Unless they're Focus Blast, which I don't think they will be because you don't normally see Focus Blast um, on Hisui and Zoroark. But we're going to try anyway. So let us go for a Flame Charge first to break the Sash. They withdraw. They withdraw and they go into the real Infernape, which is great. Nice and shiny. Got to love it. We now go for a Flame Charge so we outspeed the uh, Infernape, which is great and all. We get a Speed Boost, which is great and all. We need to keep Pyro around, though. That's the thing. So I'm going to have to switch out. I'm going to go Blastoise. I'm going to go back into Blastoise. Blastoise is going to get poisoned, so we don't need to Rapid Spin. So we're going to Leonardo. Like so. Get poisoned, which is unfortunate. Unfortunate. And then they go for a CC, which is going to do a lot of damage. Not too much, though. Not too much. We get the defense drops, though, which is amazing. Now... They probably expect us to Shell Smash, right? They probably expect us to Shell Smash. So they might switch into Zoroark if it's Focus Sash. So we go for a flip turn here. We definitely go for a flip turn. They go for a knockoff. I didn't even know Infernape got knockoff. They knock off a reject pack though. As uh, we go for a flip turn. And that's going to do... Ooh, was that a crit? It wasn't even a crit. It wasn't even a crit. That's one defense drop and it went down to a flip turn. That's amazing. Amazing work by Blastoise right there. 
So now let's go back into Pyro. That wasn't even a crit. What the heck? I'm surprised by that damage output. Really surprised. So let's go ahead and go into Pyro. And they've got Zoroark left, which is really good for us. That crit on the Sloking was really unfortunate, by the way. Because I think Sloking could really help them here. So in comes Descarfo of the Distant Past, which is the Zoroark. It's nice and shiny and terrid. Looks amazing. Um, now we go for a Flame Charge to break a potential Sash. They're probably Sashed, right? Or they might be Choice Specs because they were locked in. Fire Blast. Let's go for a Fire Blast. They go for the Hyper Voice. They take us out, which is really unfortunate. Zoroark Hisui is going to come back and make a big impression on us. So we go ahead and go into Blastoise. And this is why Hisui and Zoroark might be one of the, my favorite ghost types in the game. It's so good. Such a good um, ghost type. So let's go for a flip turn first and foremost. They go for a hyper voice. It's going to take us out. And that's going to be the game. So we lost to Hisui and Zoroark, which is great. I'm, I'm, I'm happy that we didn't win, kind of, because that slow king crit definitely mattered. But that history in Zoroark was a menace. GG, OG. CG, CG, GG, CG. But anyway, here is the team. Try it out if you want to. Use the code at the top right corner of the screen. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Feel free to leave a like, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.